Here's the Apple Watch Series 2, the 2022 model. I'm going to show you how to set it up step by step. So first thing is go ahead and grab your iPhone. Go to your App Store. So you want to go to your App Store. And then you just want to do a search for Apple Watch. And the icon here looks just like this. So go ahead and download and install that. Now go ahead and open up your Apple Watch app, which is right here. So open that up. Make sure that your uh, watch is turned on. Press and hold the power button until it turns on. And then once it's on, you just want to keep it close to your phone. And we want to tap on Start Pairing right there. And you can set up for myself or I can set up for family member. I'm going to set up for myself so I'm going to go ahead and tap on this right there. And now I'm going to go ahead and grab this and I'm going to put it over the watch like this. Okay, your Apple Watch is paired. And you can restore from backup or you can set up as a new Apple Watch. For myself, I'm going to set this up as a new Apple Watch, so I'm going to tap down here. Risk preference, go ahead and tap on continue here. Connecting your Apple Watch, this may take a few minutes or take a moment. Terms and conditions, you may want to go ahead and read through all this. You must agree to proceed. Okay, so if you agree, tap on agree down here. And you can see it's loading now, so wait one second, signing into your account, this may take a few minutes. Apple Watch passcode, basically a password, okay? So you can create a passcode, you can add a long passcode, or don't add a passcode, okay? So that's up to you, okay? For me, I'm going to go ahead and create a passcode, so I'm going to tap right there. I'm going to create a four-digit passcode here. And as soon as I do that... This code can, okay, this is fine. I'll use the code right there. Now you have to re-enter the same passcode again. All right. Now you can see it's loading again. Bold text and size, you can continue, or you can set up later if you wish. For me, I'm going to go ahead and continue now, so I'm going to tap on continue right there. Shared settings, go ahead and redo that and click on OK. Personalized fitness and health. You can go down here and you can choose your date of birth, sex, height, weight, and so on. And then once you're done, just tap on done right there. And we're going to tap on continue. Get notifications about your health. Receive a notification when there's something you need to know. So you got the uh, noise and cardio fitness. Go ahead and read through that. This is optional. You can toggle on or off. You can even leave it on. And then later on, you can go ahead and turn it off through the settings if you wish or turn it on whichever you prefer. I'm fine with leaving both of these on. I'm going to tap on continue here. Are you taking any of these heart medications? Go ahead and read through this and just go ahead and continue. Emergency SOS. Go ahead and read through that and then tap on continue. Apple Pay. You can add cards to your Apple Pay to send money and so on. If you, want, you can go ahead and set it up later if you wish or you can do it right now by clicking continue. I'm just going to go ahead and set up later for myself. App view. Don't forget to access your, you can access your apps by pressing the digital crown by pressing that right there. So we're going to go ahead and continue right there. Apple Watch is syncing. You see the progress bar right here. And then while we're waiting for this to get done, you can go down here and tap on get to know your watch if you wish. And you can go ahead and get start getting started with these. You can tap on those and see. But I am done with this right there. This has popped up. Device added to your account. And Apple Watch now has access to your iMessage and FaceTime. If you don't recognize this device, you can remove it in the settings, okay? Okay. So it's going to wait for this to get done here. Still waiting here. It's been taking a while. But um, you can go ahead and use your phone as you normally would when you're waiting. Uh, you'll get an alert once it's done. So if you need to go ahead and use your phone regularly, go ahead. Okay, and you'll get an alert once this is done. Okay, just about done. I just heard this vibrate and it beeped right there. Welcome to Apple Watch. Go ahead and click on OK down here. And voila. Guys, we are in business.
any questions or anything just comment below all right good luck guys see you on the next one